your lives in your pocket because they help you out. You know what I'm saying? They help you stay in the game, but you got to use them wisely, okay? Because you can only use one per game and not on the final round. You get them by inviting your friends to play with your code or by playing five days in a row. It's streak. Yes. Also, I have to tell you about the eraser. Okay, so a new power up. Erasers get uh, used and they eliminate one of the two incorrect answers. That gives you like a 50-50 chance to get it on right. You can earn erasers for free, but only by playing nearby two other edge quizzes. And nearby means that if you could see them, that's how close. I know some people are like, my neighbor is like across the street. How come I can't? He's, I know he's playing. I'm, I'm looking in his window to use one. Just tap that blue eraser button. It's down there on the right during the 10 seconds you have to answer. And uh, it'll erase one of the two wrong ones, leaving you with two possible choices instead of three. That's pretty cool, okay? And like Extra Lives, you can only use one per game, but not on question 12. Don't worry. You can still use your Extra Life because uh, they don't cancel each other out, okay? Guess what's coming back on Sunday? You guessed it. The 100... Yeah, we are not going to stop asking questions until there are 100 or fewer players left. Those winners are going to split $25,000. That means a bunch of y'all going to walk out of here or wherever you you're at. You're going to walk away from there with some fat pockets. That's right. Monday, 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 HQD's Assemble. We're doing Marvel Movie Trivia Night, y'all. It's, I, this is a, oh, I've been waiting for this. We are paying homage to the man, the myth, the legend, Stan the Man, the late, great Stan Lee, uh, Marvel Movie Trivia. So make sure you tune in, and if you want to, like, study, I recommend starting out with Blade and then working your way up to Avengers Infinity War, okay? Excelsior! Time for some quick shout-outs, y'all. Here we go. Hey, yo, Chris. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Chris. That's not, I mean, that's a really common name. But Shannon made you a cake. Yeah. Happy birthday, dude. Gabe, Chrissy, Amber, and Jan in Cape May. I see y'all. Cuties. Robert and Ruth Lee. Y'all been together for 49 years. That's a, that's a whole lot of love. It's a long time. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I just want to hug the both of you. Let's do it. Oh, shout out to my man, Kevin. Uh, I see you, dog. Welcome to Mexico City. Well, I, I can't welcome you there, but you just landed there. You're safe. That's what's up. All right. Uh, who else? Everybody. If, you, if you're playing the game and you love the game, I love you. So let's get down to it. Okay? Nothing to it but to HQ it. Here we go. Which of these is a residence of Britain's royal family? Downtown Dallas, Buckingham Palace, or shipping container? <laughs> what's it going to be? The royal family. Where do they live? It's a great sitcom idea in the royal family uh, starting a new life in downtown Dallas. I bet it would run like 12 seasons. But in the pilot, they'd get evicted from Buckingham Palace. Yeah. 311,659 of you got that one right. 3,000 of you think that the royal family in Britain lives in downtown Dallas. Okie dokie. Question number two. What you gonna do? Here we go. What language did Spanish largely evolve from? Japanese, Latin, or Canadian French? Yeah. Let y'all think a little bit. You ever notice how the region south of the U.S. isn't called Canadian French America? Probably because that would be very inaccurate. Yeah, most of the people there speak some kind of Romance language, which means it came from Romans who spoke Latin. Yes. Yes, a et tu, cute. See what I did there? I thought that was pretty, okay. pretty clever. Um, all right. Yes. <laughs> 296,000. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, not much. We're just hanging out. Shippers. Numero tres. <laughs> Pelican eating a pigeon, and I am scarred. You can see pelicans a lot of places, right? Especially the coastal regions. But there's only one pelican state, and I'd only trust them to commit to the birds this hard. Give it up for Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana. Word. 
161,667 of you knew that Louisiana is more than just a hot sauce. You don't like me anymore. Toast different from the old American toast. Spicier, thicker, or includes beef. Texas toast, y'all. I could go for some Texas toast right now. A little garlic, a little butter. Mm. That sounds fantastic. Some people say a lot of things about Texas. Uh... It's beef country, right? Uh, they love spicy stuff, and everything's bigger. But it's only that last one that applies to their extra thick toast. <laughs> yeah, Texas toast is thick. <laughs> did I, did I do something to chef? I know that it's bread that you can't put in a toaster. You got to, got to throw that in the oven. Or like a toaster oven. If you got one of those, I don't know. Question number five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Which is not the subject of a, Ken's Bur a Ken Burns documentary, Mark Twain, Prohibition, or Football? Football. Y'all know Ken Burns, right? Which one of these did he not make a documentary about? Ken spent his whole career documenting everything that makes America, America. So, I like to think sooner or later, he's going to get around to gridiron football. He hasn't done it yet, though. Football, baby, is 91,590 of you. Got that one right. It's time for question number six. All the other kids with the question six. Better quiz, better quiz. Okay. A July 1969 issue of the New York Times ran an infamous correction on what topic? Popular music, rocketry, or civil rights law? Who is it going to be? Okay, we'll look at All right, well, good journalism acknowledges and corrects its mistakes, even 49 years later. The correction in the July 17th issue was of a 1920 editorial saying a rocket cannot function in a vacuum. Three days later, dudes were walking on the moon. What? That's a savage question. Here we go. Savage quest song. A lot of y'all got that wrong. Savage quest song. That was a savage quest song. Savage question. Savage question. Hey. All right. Dust that off. I felt pretty fly after that. That was okay. 18,229 of you got that one right. It was rock. Oscar nomination was for what film? Fantasia, Mary Poppins, or Snow White? Hmm. What's it going to be? All right. Here we go. Maybe the Academy thinks it's easier to draw thousands and thousands of pictures than it is to just have humans act it out. Because the only Oscar nom Disney got in his life was for the live action Mary Poppins. For a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Just, just. <laughs> oh, it's go down. Oh, that's another savage question. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> savage oh, question twice. Mary Poppins was right. Savage question twice. Mary Poppins was right. Mary Poppins! Mary Poppins! <laughs> I'm having fun. It's Friday. All right. It's time for everybody. I'm playing everybody. I have fever yesterday. I have a cold. I have fever yesterday. Question. Bruce Springsteen recorded. Then Ramon for kiss. Mm hmm. In the music biz, you never know who's going to enjoy one another's work and at least make an attempt to collaborate. But Bruce was a hot young property as both a performer and a songwriter and was personally asked to jot something off by Joey Ramone. Who do that? A lot of y'all did. Not enough for it to be a savage question, but congrats to 5,992 of you that... Yeah, it's just keeping track to, to show that I paid you. Like, you oh, yeah, yeah. Tonight, let's get it. Which of these elements is a metal? Carbon, chlorine, or sodium? Getting into little chemistry, y'all. All right, we think of metals as those hard, shiny things. But when you scope out the periodic table, almost everything's a metal. Whether uh, lanthanide, transition, actinide, or even alkali. As in element 11, sodium. Bye. Knew that 
Uh, shout out to you. Don't mix sodium with water because it'll blow up in your face. Unless you're my ex, then you can mix all kind of toxic stuff. I didn't know which, uh, Keisha. Film okay, question 10. According to the so-called Lombardi curse, what team could not win the Super Bowl? Lions, Vikings, or Eagles? This curse actually goes back to a 1960s upset like of Lombardi's Green Bay Packers by this team. Yeah, it was said that as long as the championship trophy was named for Vince, they'd never win at all. But earlier this year, the Philadelphia Eagles dispatched the Pats. Can you go, Linda, where do you think you're I'm a Giants fan, so I, I don't know the Eagles song. My bad, birds. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. The classic video game Portal features an anger core voiced by the lead singer of what band? Jane's Addiction, Faith No More, or Cake? I remember Portal had the guns where you shoot it and it makes a portal. I would use it until I get past like question nine. That angry, angry sphere had the pipes of Mike Patton, who belted out songs like Epic while fronting Faith No More. 1,649 of y'all are moving on to question 12. Woo! Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at that. What's funny? Woo! Question 12. I said question 12. It's one of the... No, I Choices. thought I knew the answer. I picked yeah, okay. Fantasia. Oh, shit. Play. Hamlet, Richard, or Bernardo? Did you have good reception over there? It broke up a couple times, but it's yeah, not going Yeah, can you gonna... hold it? Oh, it's five acts long, which makes me think the Globe made the real money on concessions. <laughs> but clocking in at 30,567 words, the champion is that... off. Who's there? That was asked by the castle guard, Bernardo. Well... Crunchies, what you make? Dog treats? Holla at me. Hit me with a DM. I, I'd buy some dog treats from you. Uh, jam. Gotta be jelly, cause jam don't shake like that. A yus. What up? A yus. You got some money too. She laughed. Yeah. No, no. That's a good one, Glenn. It'd be sad if you lost. Flippers. Come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. for your chance at another $5,000. And Sunday for the 100. And then Monday is Marvel Movie Trivia Night. Until next time, I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me at Matt Was Funny. Let me know how you did. Stay classy.